Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever the case may be. This is Mike, and I am just testing out my Roland R05 recorder with a dead cat on the top. <laughs> it's a uh, dead cat wind uh, shield or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Looks like a looks like a dead cat, I guess, uh, covering up the microphones. I'm kind of just walking around in the house here as it started to rain here. But, uh, yeah, I thought this recorder had died on me. Well, actually, I thought I'd lost it. Then uh, then I uh, found it again and couldn't get it to work. And uh, I don't know what changed, but uh, it resurrected, so I'm going to go ahead and try it out. It was kind of funny, though. I uh, needed to... Uh, order a new recorder anyway. I was going to order a, a, a Zoom H4N Pro or an H5 and oh, I just couldn't pull the trigger on it. And then I thought, well, geez, it'd be kind of nice just to have a rack mount digital recorder for, uh, you know, for my uh, studio rack. And uh, so I investigated that and I found one. Uh, it's a Denon DN300R, I think. I don't know, it's a, a one high uh, digital recorder. Pretty simple machine. Uh, you know, it's just a digital recorder, but it fits in the rack. And it's got all the hookups on the back for input output. And uh, you can, and the unique thing about this one is you can plug in both a uh, regular. Uh, card like you'd use in these uh, portable recorders like this Roland or uh, a Zoom or your camera or you know a million other things HSD card I guess they call it and then the other thing is you can plug in a thumb drive and you can record to them both simultaneously which is kind of interesting so uh, I'm going to test it out and if it all works out I'm going to order another one for the uh, new Blueberry Studio in Columbus, which is going to be uh, open to podcasters in Columbus at some point to uh, come in and record their show using uh, our equipment. So, uh, But that'd be handy for them. They bring in a, a, a thumb drive or we can provide them one or however that works and plug it in, record their show, pull the thumb drive, go home and edit it. <laughs> be kind of handy. Uh, rather than using the computer to record. Because I've been using this thing as a backup. You know, it's got a line input, and then I just, you know, plug it in, and hit record on this, and then uh, record my episodes, and and then uh, whatever. But like I said, the thing first came up missing, and then uh, when I found it again, it didn't work. And uh, as a result, I lost a recording of the last episode of Your Podcast by Blueberry. So uh, Todd and I had to re-record that on uh, on uh, Tuesday. So, uh, yeah, that was kind of a bummer. But I think with this new Denon recorder in the rack, and uh, now that I got this thing working, I don't know, I still might order an 04. Not sure. Uh, I'll zoom o- H- or a- uh, H4N... Pro I may still order one of those as well, but uh, that Denon was about the same price, and it's rack mount, and I don't know, just be a whole lot handier. That uh, all I gotta do is turn it on, hit the record button, and it just sort of records everything that goes through the mixer. And uh, I guess that could be handy for some other things too. So eh, anyway, experimenting with podcasting. There's a whole lot of other things going on. But I don't know how this sounds, so let me uh, let me uh, stop this recording, and uh, if I have anything else to say, I'll add it to the end. Catch me later. All right, here's uh, me back in the uh, studio, or at least on the studio microphone. Um, actually, I've moved the studio back upstairs. It was uh, down in the basement for a little while, but we are now firmly in renovation mode for the basement. Uh, I know I've said that before, and we've had a few false starts on that. So uh, finally, in earnest, I'm resurrecting the uh, basement studio and uh, re 
revamping the entire basement actually so uh, that's going on uh, i just signed the contract on the roof so you know, i didn't go up there and sign the contract but i signed the contract to have the roof replaced because it uh, desperately needs it <laughs> so uh, even though it's not leaking uh, you know we have trees growing out of our roof with an old cedar cedar shake roof and uh we're gonna have that uh replaced with a uh, new modern shingle roof so that'll be nice and then uh finally at the end of the summer we're gonna have uh or well probably yeah probably the end of the summer we'll have the uh, kitchen completely done so by fall the kitchen roof and basement and office and studio which is really the same thing will be done so Temporarily, I'm in exile up here in the living room. And so that's that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, I don't know, that uh, recorded didn't sound too bad. That's using the internal mics on the thing, so you probably heard a lot of background. Those are condenser mics. Of course, I'm using the uh, uh, main uh, headset mic there that I use uh, normally in the studio, kind of a sportscaster-style mic. I do have my uh, Heil PR40, and I have a RE20, which uh, when I get settled back in the uh, basement studio, I'll use those, but uh, one of those anyway, probably the RE20, and I have the other one set up for any possible guests that might show up, but that almost never happens, so, you know, I like the headset one, because I can just kind of, you know, stand up, walk around, do whatever, you know, on the length of cord I have, and... <laughs> Works out really nice, and I stay on mic. So, anyway, with that, uh, I'm gonna cut this one kind of short. Sorry about that. It's uh, not a really big update. I did actually record episode 304 one other time, and uh, didn't uh, didn't ever publish it. So uh, I will publish this one just because uh, it's interesting hearing the two different uh, recording setups, and uh, I'll probably be recording just a little bit more now that uh, I have the studio back up in a spot that uh, I actually uh, am in a lot. So (laughs) that's how it works. Anyway, catch me later.